Mga bata, maayong adlaw ka ninyo. Kumusta na mo? Ang damay niyong mga gamit, kay magsugod na ang eskwalahan sa kahanginan. Kiniyang Learn O'Clock! Pisog papel, radio, TV o computer Smartphone o modules, kinahanglanon Ayaw kalimot sa pag-invite sa mong higala Ang pagtuon dili maundang upadayon pa Makatong pag-ihap, makatong tapagbasa Letters of the alphabet, ang atong alpabeto Sa Learn O'Clock, we're learning won't stop And then ang damo ng kaugalingon Kay magsugod ng Learn O'Clock Good morning, children! I'm Teacher FJ. I'm here again to help you learn from your home through broadcast lessons. Be sure to stay around during the next minutes of our program, Learn O'Clock. How are you today, children? I am sure you are all staying home safely for today's competency. Children are expected to classify or categorize sounds heard from objects at home. Children! Are you all excited to learn with me today? Yes, teacher! Wow! You seem so excited to learn with me today, children! Before we start, make sure to have a piece of pencil and paper with you. Again, make sure to have a piece of pencil and paper with you for you to write down the important things that you need to learn as learners. Also, make sure that an adult is beside you like your mother, father, grandparents, older relatives, or elder siblings, like your ate or kuya as you listen to our broadcast lesson on air today, for them to guide and help with our activities. Are you ready, children? Yes, teacher! Great! You are enthusiastically ready! So children, sit back, relax, and listen! Children, were you able to listen to our broadcast lesson yesterday? Yes, teacher! Can you still remember our lesson yesterday? Our lesson yesterday was about classifying transportation sounds. How many types of transportation were given yesterday? Correct! Yesterday, we discussed the three types of transportation. First is the land transportation like the car. And the train. Second is water transportation like the ship. And the submarine. Third is the air transportation like the airplane. the helicopter. With that, surely you can easily identify transportation sounds according to their type. Did you enjoy listening to those sounds? Let's hear them again! Those sounds familiar to you? Yes, teacher! Do you have any idea on today's lesson? Yes! Our lesson for today is about classifying sounds from home objects. Again, classifying sounds from home objects. Will this lesson be easy to you? Of course it is! These sounds are very common to our ears since we always hear them at home. So children, Stay tuned for more learning. We will be back after a short break. Mm -hmm. 
If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. A doorbell and a telephone produces loud sounds. Say ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ring ring ring. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. A doorbell and a telephone produces loud sounds. Say ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ring ring ring. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. A clock in boiling water produces soft sounds. Say tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, blow, blow, blow. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. A doorbell and a telephone produces loud sounds. Say ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ring ring ring. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. A clock and boiling water produces soft sounds. Say tick 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 blah blah blah. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, you clock and stomp your feet. You clock, clock, clock and stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to say it, if you're happy and you know it, sing with us. Thank you for staying with me, children. Now, are you ready to learn with me in classifying sounds from home objects? Yes, teacher! So children, sit comfortably and listen carefully to the whole story that I am going to tell you. Would you love to hear it? Yes, teacher! The title of our story is Cheeto's Birthday. Again, the title of our story is Cheeto's Birthday. The alarm clock's ringing! I hardly got off from my bed to take a bath. But before I opened the shower, I realized it's Saturday. We don't go to school on a Saturday, do we? Ugh, who set the alarm clock? I'm supposed to be sleeping until this time. Ugh. Honestly, I don't wake up early on Saturday. As I was walking along in our house, I noticed that the house is very quiet and it seems empty. I did not even hear anything like mommy cooking in the kitchen. So I rushed to my parents' bedroom to check on them. As I opened the door, no one was there. I rushed to the living room hoping to see them, but still, they were not around. Then. I saw a letter on the couch. Mom wrote something, saying, We will be gone for a while. Sorry for setting the alarm clock early. Breakfast is ready on the table. I also prepared for your clothes in your bedroom. Please don't mess up. See you later, son. Are they serious for leaving me alone today? Ugh. So I went back to the bathroom to take a shower. After that, I went to the kitchen to eat my breakfast. While I was eating, the spoon suddenly fell on the floor. Then, I remembered Grandma's story saying, If a spoon fell on the floor, a visitor will come. Hmm, who could it be? Who will entertain him? I am alone in this house. After breakfast, I opened the TV to watch my favorite TV show. When the show was done, I dialed the telephone to call Grandma and Grandpa. my call. 
So I called Mark, my best friend. But he did not respond to. How could it be? Why aren't they answering my call? Later on, I got bored. So I decided to go to our backyard. There, I saw my friends happily playing basketball. Sadly, I won't be able to join them because no one will look after our house. On the other side, I saw our neighbor cutting the grass with his mower. I was disturbed by the sound, so I decided to get inside the house to play my guitar. Enjoyed playing with it. I haven't noticed. It's already afternoon. But my parents are still not around. I feel worried. Where could they be? Did they forget me? Later on, I heard a loud beep of a car horn outside the house. At last, my parents have arrived. I excitedly rushed outside to open the gate. To my surprise, I saw my parents with grandma and my grandpa. My best friend Mark, his family, and some of my friends were there too. Wow! I did not expect these people to come to our house today. They brought with them birthday hats, colorful balloons, foods, gifts, and cake. They greeted me a happy birthday. Happy birthday! And even popped some party poppers. Yay! Wow, I am truly amazed. I thought my parents forgot my birthday. We happily eat together for dinner. I thanked everyone for coming. Moreover, I thanked my parents for their great surprise. My 12th birthday was such a blast! Did you listen to the story, children? Did you love it? Yes, teacher! Wow! Thank you for listening! Now, Let's have a short comprehension check for the details of the story. Kindly get your paper and your pencil. Number your paper from 1 to 5. Now, write the letter of your answer from the questions that I will be telling you. Again, write only the letter of your answer. Are you ready, children? Yes, teacher! Now, let's start! Number 1. On what day did the story happen? Number one, on what day did the story happen? A. Monday B. Saturday C. Sunday Again, A. Monday B. Saturday C. Sunday The correct answer is letter B. The story happened on a Saturday. Number two. What was Cheeto's problem in the story? Number two. In the story, what was Cheeto's problem? A. He was left alone in the house. B. He was late for school. C. He could not get outside the house. Again. A. He was left alone in the house. B. He was late for school. C. He could not get outside the house. The answer for number two is... 
Letter A. Chito is left alone in the house. Number three. Who wrote the letter for Chito? Number three. Who wrote the letter for Chito? A. Grandma B. Mark C. Mommy Again A. Grandma B. Mark C. Mommy The correct answer is... Letter C Mommy wrote the letter for Chito Number 4 who is Chito's best friend? Number four. Who is Chito's best friend? A. Sam. B. Mark. C. Alex. Again. A. Sam. B. Mark. C. Alex. The answer for number four is letter B. Mark is Chito's best friend. Number five, what was the event in the story? Number five, what was the event in the story? A. Birthday B. Wedding or C. Reunion Again, A. Birthday B. Wedding or C. Reunion The correct answer is letter A. It is Chito's birthday. Were you able to get it right? Yes, teacher! Very good, children! I am glad that you were able to answer all questions. It only means that you listened very well to the story. Let us give ourselves a happy clap! Let's pause for a short break. More fun and activities when we come back. Please stay tuned. Thank you for staying with me, children! Mm. Children, are you wondering why some home objects produce sounds? We all know that sounds are around us all the time. Sound plays an important part in our lives because it can tell us about place, time, or even an event. 
every day to hear different sounds, especially at home. Sound energy is produced when an object vibrates. The sound vibrations cause waves of pressure that travel through a medium such as air, water, wood, or metal. Let's hear some common sounds heard from home. Are you ready to listen with me? Yes, teacher! Let's start! Were you able to hear those sounds? I know those sounds are very familiar to you. This time, let's group the sounds from home objects into two. Which among those objects have soft or loud sound? Do you want to hear them again? Sure! Let's hear them again! Can you identify which objects have soft or loud sound? Let's see! The sounds from alarm clock and telephone have loud sounds since they give loud signal sound to people. A TV also produces loud sound because its purpose is to entertain its audience. Meanwhile, a boiling water and electric fan have soft sounds. These things create sounds Due to vibrations. Children, I hope you understand now why even simple objects at home produce sounds. Now for our final activity. Please get your paper and your pencil. Again, please get your paper and your pencil. Step 1. Draw two big houses on your paper. Step 2. On the upper part of the first house, write the words, Objects with soft sounds. Again, write the words, Objects with soft sounds. Step 3. On the upper part of the second house, write the words, Objects with loud sounds. Again, write the words, Objects with with loud sounds. Step 4. Listen to the sounds that you will hear and write the name of the object to house where they belong. Are you ready, kids? Yes, teacher! Let's start the sound quiz! Number 1. Doorbell. Number two, radio sound. Number three, camera sound. Number four, washing machine sound. Number 5. 
Number 5. Paper Crumpling Number 6. Flashing of Toilet Number 7. Faucet Sound Number 8. Clock Sound Number 9. Crumpling of Cellophane Number 10. Coin Drop Sound Did you enjoy listening to those sounds, children? Yes, teacher! Were you able to identify whether the objects have soft or loud sounds? It's time to check your answer! Let's see and check the first house labeled as objects with soft sounds. The answers for objects with soft sounds are Camera Paper crumbling And Clock Did you get it right? Yes, teacher! Stomp your feet if you got the answers correctly! Next, let's see and check the second house labeled as objects with loud sounds. The answers for objects with loud sounds are Doorbell Radio Washing machine Flashing of toilet Faucet sound Crumpling of cellophane And Coin drop sound did you get it right? Yes, teacher! Clap your hands if you got the answers correctly! Wow! You're so brilliant, kids! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. I hope you can now classify objects with soft and loud sounds easily. Thank you so much for being with me today. Stay tuned for more fun and learning here in Learn O'Clock. Once again, this is Teacher FJ leaving you this code. Alone, you are smart. Together, we are brilliant. Thank you and God bless us all. Kila sa DepEd Cagayan de Oro ang pagsaling o pagpaningkamot sa mga musunod. Singer Presenter, Francis J. Montano Damit. Singer Presenter, Melanie Liwagon Villanueva. Songwriter, Melanie Liwagon Villanueva. Songwriter, Chito Hinayon Espinosa. Script Writer, May Saike Becas Virula. Script Writer, Ronald Daaka Pacto. Audio and Sound Effects, Susie Mae Roa Fabular. Audio and Sound Effects, Jella Marie Turicampo Simon. Audio and Sound Effects, Ronald Da Acapacto. And Managing Producer, Chito Hinayun Espinosa.